What's up, YouTube people? And welcome back to more Dark Souls 3. And tilt our glasses. Okay, today we have the Deacons of the Deep boss. We're going to go and attack. They are located in the Cathedral of the Deep. Way, way, way down in the bottom of the Cathedral, if I remember correctly. All I know is you just go through this monster truck rally full of bullshit ambushes and dickweeds. Um, quite quite the trek to get to this area for a boss that really is not all that difficult, in my opinion. Um, just has kind of a gimmick to it, a little bit of a trick. I don't I don't know really how else to describe it. But anyway, let's see. Where's where's our where can we put down our summer shine? That was, should be right here. All right. So, kind of give you an idea of where we're at. And believe me, you go through a lot just to get here. And it's 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 quite the trek. But it's like this big church opening kind of thing. And you got these cleric guys that are just complete ass wipes. And, yeah, well, I think you'll, you shouldn't, you'll know all about them by this, at this point. Good Lord. They're douchebags. Anyway. Let's wait to get summoned in. We sh it shouldn't take too long unless... Oh, uh, wait a minute. I think I might have... Have my password. I do. Okay, I need to get take this off. Alright, done. Yeah, if I have a password on, then the only one that has that password can actually summon me in, which that wouldn't work real well. Uh, in fact, I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to put it back down because... That Dark Souls system is kind of iffy when it comes to that kind of thing. So let's see. Let's, let's, let's get summoned. Let's get summoned. Wow, my volume is really, really low. I have no idea why. Or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just not... <clears throat> maybe I'm just not here. You know, there's nothing going on, so, well, that makes sense. But I'm not even hearing my the pitter pat of my feet. Really, I'm gonna reset. That this is one thing about when you go into an, a boss area, it resets and says, "Well, your summon sign's gone." So let's go back and try this one more time because it should have been. It sh I should have been summoned in a lot quicker than that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Making sure that's all the way it should be. Uh, unrestricted. Uh, matchmaking is on. Okay. Everything should be good. There we go. Works every time. Just like a charm. We got our second notification, so we are going to be pulled into this boss fight. As long as that's what they want to do. God, I've, I've ran into ones where they run backwards just, I guess, to find items. Alright, who we got here? Krugel the Lost. Some of the names they come up with, man, I have to admit. <laughs> really doesn't need any more than me. Um, this is a boss you can probably easily do on your own. But just so... <clears throat> just so everyone knows, this, I'm, I'm doing this for the sake of... Uh, Showing you how these some of these bosses work because it does have a little bit of a kind of a gimmick thing going on. I guess I can. I, I guess I shouldn't call it a gimmick, but it's uh, something you need to know. Oh well, hell, you didn't. You weren't able to summon your buddy there, pal. Your buddy, pal. All right, he's summoning another one. Oh, well, that seemed to work pretty quick. I, I don't understand some of these players when they do the, what? You know, they raise their arms out wide like that. Like, it, that's almost like that right there. That's like, bring it. You know, I'm like, really, dude? Obviously, you don't have it all. There you go. That guy got sick of that shit. He's like, shut up, man. You're summoning us in. That means you're a big old punk. <laughs> no. 
I'm kidding. I've summoned people before in a boss fight that I can't handle, but this one is really, really pretty easy. I'm guessing that he may have run into the problem that I'm going to show all of you that, you know, I guess it, no one's quite aware of, and I, I figured it out pretty quick. So basically what you got to do, there's this big congregation, and you see the one in the red right there. You got to attack the guy in the red. And what that red is going to transfer over to another person. So then you got to find him. And then it'll transfer to another one. And you got to find him. And it looks like he's... Whoop, he's over here. And it'll transfer to another one until it goes into like a second phase. And the second phase basically is, is nothing really horrible. Uh, where is he? I can't find him. Oh, there he is. Ah, Krugel's got him. He bitch slapped his butt. Sliced his, sliced his ass cheeks off. So here we are in second phase. Why is it targeting that? You get these blue guys that are going to protect the fuck out of this guy. And he's dead. If it would have went further, if you look up, you see this congregation way up top here. They were alive. They start chanting, and this big orb starts to evolve around. And it will basically blast through anything. And it's it's I think it's dark magic. Or probably, I don't know, maybe like curse? I don't know. But... It will actually really, really, like, just butt fuck you. <laughs> it's, it's very staggering. Um, anyway, let's see. D I don't remember if this has. I don't think this is an exit anywhere. You have to basically just go back through this bonfire. But yeah, so keep that in mind. It's like, uh, it's like. A jumping around red orb that will like go to each it'll go to a different member each time and you gotta find whoever that member is amongst this big ass fuck of um of uh people <laughs> or weirdos creepos so I, there's really not much to do there I, I don't really want to run back I, you know show that whole section how to get there we're just gonna go to one of the next bosses that is uh, probably one of my favorites. He's he's really kind of creepy. Uh, well, not really so much creepy, just kind of creepy cool. He's creepy cool. Um, wait a minute. This is not what I wanted. Oh yes, it is. Never mind. <laughs> okay, this looked really weird. I'm like, what? This is wrong. So okay, yeah, this is in. Uh, this is below. Good God, why can't I remember anything? Jesus. I don't know the names. You know, I haven't got the names set yet. It's This is... Uh, yeah, the Catacombs. And I, think I, I believe I talked about the Catacombs in an earlier episode. And there are two bosses that... I, I don't know if there's a third, but... Two bosses that I am very aware of in this area. And it's Walner, who we're going up against now. And the old Demon King, which I will show in probably the next episode. Look how quick that was. Jeez. Wow. Yep. It went through. Now, this boss can be a little bit intimidating because of uh, some of the attacks he has are really quite devastating. And if you don't know what they are, then, well, you kind of learn by default, I guess. And it's like, oh, oops, I died because there's this thing that happened and I wasn't really aware. Whoa, that was quick. <clears throat> okay, so here we are with Walner. Oh, see that mist? 
You want to stay the fuck away from the mist? Oh my god. God, really? That is stretching out far. And you see, he slams his hand down. You see these bracelets? You want to hit the bracelets. And there is no real... Oh, he'll slam his hand. <clears throat> so let's run back. Uh, nope, nope, not to, not right now. Let's let's run back this way again, shall we? And hopefully that mist doesn't catch up to us. There we go. They got one of the bracelets off. You got to get all three of those bracelets. That's all you need to do. He'll start summoning these skeletons, making it a little more tricky. I'm just trying to help out the host here at the moment. He'll start crawling. And if you get hit by his, like, oh, God, missed, missed, missed is bad. Missed is so bad. It's so very bad. And it kills the skeletons, too, as you, as you can see here. He will also break out his sword if he desires or thinks he needs to. There goes the other one. All right. Now, generally, as a rule, if you're soloing this, you don't want to have anyone to summon in. <clears throat> the best rule of thumb is to go after the first bracelet, which is on his left hand. Or the solo bracelet, I guess you want to call it. The one by itself. Whoop. Nope. Nah. He'll try to lure you in. He'll hide his bracelet way back there. And if you go back there right now, there's all that mist. And it literally will just, like... It takes your life down like so quick. Um, so yeah, he's still hiding it. Man, what a douche! It's being a dick. All right, so I th yeah, no, it's not safe. No, it's not safe. It is not safe. Oh my God, the host! They actually killed it. They actually killed him. Good job. Look out behind you, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> By the hair of his chinny chin chin. Oh, okay, I'm sliding backwards. This guy is pushing me. What, what's going on here? <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, they were almost dead. That It was the mist that was actually doing that to them. That's why I didn't go forward. I figured they knew that. And that's just a bad idea. I mean, if you know, I, I should be sacrificing myself as being... The phantom being summoned in, but at the same time, if I get myself killed, what good am I? You know? So, anyway. Two bosses for you to check out today. Hopefully that helps anyone that's having any problems with them, because uh, the deacons, not so, not so bad. But if you don't know about the whole red orb jumping to different members of the corrugation, or corrugation, I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to that. <laughs> But uh, Animal Walner, uh, knowing about his mist, he never actually pulled out his sword in this fight, which sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Uh, the sword makes it a little, little more tricky, but if you stay close to him, you're fine. But if he starts breathing the mist at the same time, then yeah, it gets pretty nasty. So heads up on that one as well. Anyway, I want to thank everyone for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next episode of Dark Souls 3. Y'all have a fantastic day.